In October 2008, a fisherman made the headlines when he caught a salmon in the River Rhine in Basel. It was a sensation, as it had been half a century since salmon had been caught there. It was a symbol of the recovery of West Europe's longest river. Salmon fishing used to be big business here. These traditional galgen or fishing gallows that still line the riverbank were used to catch them. The first recorded mention of using a device to catch salmon was in the 13th century. Fishing was an important economic activity at one time, and a lot of salmon were caught. And we were very disappointed when the fish died out here. It was pretty depressing. One of the reasons for salmon disappearing was pollution from factories and farming. Then, in 1986, a blaze at the Sando Agrochemical Storehouse in Schweizerhalle near Basel resulted in tons of pollutants entering the Rhine, turning it red. The chemicals caused a massive mortality of wildlife downstream, prompting countries bordering the Rhine to join forces to clean up the water and improve monitoring. This testing station, run by Basel's environmental department, checks for 300 substances. From being the so-called cesspit of Western Europe, the Rhine is now clean enough for salmon to swim in. This has changed a lot, thanks to the ICPR, the International Commission for the Protection of the Rhine. This developed a program with all nine Rhine states to build one water purification plant after another. Meanwhile, non-profit salmon farms along the Rhine ensure that the fish don't die out before stable populations can be established. About 200,000 salmon are released into the Rhine near Basel every year. These are bred in the Petit Camargue fish farm in Alsace. If we were to stop stocking salmon from one day to the next, it would all be over, because we don't have a stable population in the river. At the moment, we don't have enough fish to meet the objectives of the ICPR, which wants 1,500 salmon to return to the Upper Rhine. We're far off the mark, because we don't have the resources to put enough salmon in the Rhine. Salmon from the fish farm make their way down to the North Sea, and when they're strong enough, they swim back upstream to the place where they were freed in order to lay their eggs. The canton of Basel has renaturalized part of the Beers and the Visa rivers flowing into the Rhine to encourage salmon to spawn here. The locks had früher die Beers. The Beers used to be a spawning ground for salmon. And we're waiting for the fish to feel so comfortable here that the bears becomes their breeding place again. But very few salmon make it back from the North Sea because they're held up by hydroelectric dams between Strasbourg and Basel. Fish passes are what they need. These are obligatory in Switzerland. This one's at the Beersfelden power plant near Basel. But some of the hydroelectric plants in the Upper Rhine, owned by the French electricity company EDF, still don't have fish ladders. At the moment, the power plants in the Upper Rhine are blocking the way for salmon returning to Switzerland. Two power stations have plans for bypasses, but the other five power plants have no concrete plans, so progress really needs to be made there to enable salmon to return to Switzerland. The EDF says it's building passes at Strasbourg and Gertzheim, and they'll be finished by 2020. WWF says France is not honouring its ICPR commitment. This October, the group will present a petition to the French environment minister at a meeting of Rhine bordering countries, calling for bypasses at all French hydroelectric plants by the year 2020.